So let's say you want something a little bit better than a handwritten address for an envelope for something special. So you want to print something out. You can do this one of a few ways on your Mac. I'm going to show you two. One that you may go to right away is Pages. Use Pages to print an envelope. So you could do this using one of the Pages templates that's in there. So when you create a new document it asks you to choose a template and if you scroll down you'll find a bunch of envelopes. So I'm going to choose classic envelope here and I get some pre-filled in bits of information here. Uh, return address, main address and I can go in and I can edit these. Make them what I want and I can of course also change things like font and maybe make them larger, bold, whatever I want to do. I can also change the type of envelope I'm using. So I want to measure my envelope and I want to go and see if any of the envelopes under page setup will fit. The default here is envelope number 10. There's a few others. And technically you can use custom uh, manage custom sizes, but I haven't had too much success with that. You're gonna have to do trial and error. If you, you make a custom size, you're probably gonna have to print out several different versions, adjust things, move things around just to get it right. In this case, envelope 10 fits the bill, and I can go to File Print and then make some selections here. One of the things I want to select is under media and quality there is a media type for my printer and I can choose envelope to tell it that something thicker is going to go through than a standard sheet of paper. And also you want to worry about like which way is up and which side to print on. So one of the things you may want to do is use a standard piece of paper and, and fold it if you don't want to waste an envelope um, and kind of mark on it to make it a fake envelope, feed it through and see exactly which side it's on. Or if you have a bunch of envelopes you may want to waste one just to see what happens. Um, and then when you know how to orient the paper as you feed it through the printer you click Print and you should get a printed envelope. So I got exactly the result I wanted but your results may vary. Printers vary in how they handle envelopes um, and of course the envelope size uh, is going to mean you might run into some trouble. So you may have to go into this template here and move things around to adjust. And you may need to do things like since this is the body text here you may need to add some spacing. I'm just putting some tabs there. Things like that. So you do what you have to do to get the envelope printed and looking the way you want. Now another way to do it is to use the Contacts app. And of course this allows you to print envelopes pretty easily and if the contact is already there then you don't even have to type the address. But if not don't be afraid to add a contact temporarily in order to do this. It's no different really than creating a new pages document. So I'm going to do File, New Card and I'm going to just create a temporary card and set an address down here. And hit Done. And with that contact selected I'm going to go to File, Print and the first thing you want to look at here is style. Make sure you have style envelopes chosen. Now you get a ton of options here and it's really interesting. You can choose a layout and there's a bunch of different presets. So you have North American envelopes and you see a lot more here than you did in Pages. There's international envelopes and there's Japanese envelopes. So a ton of different envelope choices. And I can choose the uh, official 10 here and I could see that the width and the height, it's pretty much that number 10 that was in pages. But I had a lot of other options as well. I can choose between inches, millimeters, and points for my units there. And I can easily build my custom envelope. So I can define a custom envelope. I'll call it Test. And now I can edit all of this stuff. So I can edit the width and the height. I can edit the position and the width and height of the recipient, the position and the width and height of the sender to customize everything. And when I get it just like I want I can print. And of course this is saved as a custom type. So if it works for me and I have a lot of envelopes of this size I can reuse it. Then when I'm done with it don't be afraid to delete that contact if you really only wanted it there to print this envelope. It's really no different than creating a Pages document to use it once to print an envelope and then deleting it. 
Now if you have a need to do more than just a single envelope here and there um, you may want to look into a specialty app. There are plenty in the Mac App Store. And you can use one of these to print uh, larger runs or maybe it's something you need to do on a regular basis or do it for work. There's several different apps here so you want to look through them and find one that fits your needs.